Welcome back. back. Welcome back. UBA. My brother. All day. Tailgate is Tailgate. here. One uh, more day. One more day. One with more the DMV. Day. Yes. Uh, when they say we don't come. But guess it. what? We, we here. here. Uh, we got a two stops that uh, happened last week. Yeah. Yeah. We We're going to give you some recaps. We had some good ones, man. We did. We did. We're going to well, start every out. Every day in the UBA is a good day. This one was. We're going to start out in Long Island. In the Atlantic Conference. All right, all right. We had the number one team in the UBA. Bra! The you BC go, baby. crew. Yes, sir. They took on number 27 ranked Long Island Legends. This is a pretty good matchup. Probably the best matchup here. Really? And well, it was a good matchup so far that I've seen until we get to the playoffs. Okay. Right? It's good. All right, all right. But I think that the BC crew. Yeah. They needed to make a statement against this team. A lot of people didn't see them as the necessary unanimous number one team. A lot of people still saw outrage. They got to win, right? They had to win. That's so what that matters. They did win the match. Right. They won 24 to 16. All right. That's not the statement they were looking to make. That's not a statement, but it's a good win. It does keep them in first place in their division, though. Yeah. But Which I think they're going to run away but with. But I do think that the Long Island Legends did send a message to BC Crew. It's not going to be an easy win. They're not going to be a cupcake team. It's, it's not, not going to be a pushover. No. No. Okay. No. Also, you had number one, number 21, Royal Flush. They were able to take 30 points in there and jump into number two in that division. Oh, that division wow. is getting really, really heated up. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Also there, we had two of the lower ranked teams, number 42, Suicide Squad. Squad! With with, with their uh, new Cruiserweight champ, Shonda. Yeah, Sean, yeah Shonda. Shout out. Yes. They took on number 48, Killer's Grip. Ooh, that's, I like that team. Yeah, they did. Interesting. <laughs> Two handed like my man Will Watson. <laughs> that, was, that was an interesting matchup. Let me tell you how this went, right? Killer's Grip won that matchup. They took oh, cool. 28. I kind of figured that. But yeah. this is how it happened. Wow. Suicide Squad looked really good. Until, every pair right? won two out of the three games. Oh, so the every handicap. pair, every scratch and both handicaps won two out of three games every pair. However, the game that they did lose cost them the wood. That could happen. And cost them the match. Eventually. I see, I see. So. I, hey, that's a good day. It's a W. Yeah. It's a W. I tell you this, with 28 points and a win by Killer's Grip, uh, Killer's Grip, you're making Gordon very proud. I think that they'll wind up moving up in the rankings. I, I I'll tell think you so. That, I, I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Plus, you know, maybe Paul will leave us alone. Yeah. Also, <laughs> out of that, a special shout out yeah. to Jarrett Gerard from Project, oh, Project Mayhem. Mayhem. Yeah. Shoots 300 there. Congratulations, bro. Yep. Good on the score. Good on the score. To the Northeast. Yes, sir. In New Jersey. New Jersey off east. We're going to start off in the Jersey Shore District. Okay. They were at Ocean Lanes. We had the number 12 team in the UBA, the replacements. And they got replaced? They took on Alter Ego. Uh, Did they get replaced? Yeah. No. No. no? We're going to hear more about this grumpy guy. I would have had Alter Ego with the George one. Williams. Yeah. All right. They were they were ahead of the division. They're the first place team. They are undefeated right now. They were looking to make a statement here against Alter Ego. Mission accomplished. Okay. They were able to get that done. So that we're gonna hear some more rough rough. I hope so. From Mr. George Williams. I hope so because honestly, <laughs> right? the UBA page is bored. I don't I don't see nothing no more. No. I got, I got excited with just recently um you know, with you, uh, Area well, 18. You, you're one of the old school cats. Yeah. I did, I did like that. I, I saw that. Yeah, that was a good one. I saw that. that. We're one. gonna get to that. Trust of me. Of course, of course. Also in this division, you had number 29, Strike City. They took on We've Been Framed. I like Strike City. Strike City was the number two team in that. Right. In that division. In that division. Oh, wait. Let me tell you was? this. Was was the key word. They they were the number two team. Are they that number division. one or they went down? They were no replacements was first. Okay. Strike City was in second place. Right. Um. After reviewing the evidence. Right. We've been framed. Is found guilty. <laughs> okay. They've been found guilty of outstriking number Ooh. twenty-nine Strike City and sending them home. With their second loss in a row on tour. Ooh. All right? Back and to back L's. With that win, we've been framed. Yeah. That's their third win in a row. And they moved up? 
they're gonna move up. They're now in playoff contention. Oh, let's go. So they might get right now. Gordon might have a chance to actually view them. It depends. Let's see. Let's go. We're gonna go down to Majestic, where New Jersey Northeast had a tour stop there. I, I, it's a beautiful house. Um, I just don't like it too much. Where we had <laughs> I don't carry it. One of the more one of the more controversial teams in the UBA. Number 17 ranked dysfunctional bowlers. Took what on. is it with that team, bro? Why does everybody like <laughs> they took I don't on get it. number 38 class X. This, <laughs> and if you followed along, this was probably the marquee match up here with these two two ranked teams. I don't know about Marquee. I mean, well, it, class act is still, uh, and they're still what I call a newbie. Yeah, they're still UBA. They're newbie. They're new to the UBA. They get in their feet wet, but they're making a statement. Well, it I wasn't. Like that. It wasn't the matchup that we didn't think we would have, but it may lead to a little rivalry now. I like rivalry. as class acts. Yeah, takes the win. They thirty to them. ten. I did see that. A big <laughs> thirty to ten win. Okay, Ta this is a was win. No hope. <laughs> Ta 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 was dry on that day, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. This is a win for Class Acts that's definitely going to shake up the UBA rankings. I, I, I can see that. I, you don't agree? I don't agree. I agree. I, I can agree. definitely see that happening. There was also some good old, you like that old UBA, that trash talk and afterwards. Talk put the ball behind it. You know what I'm saying? That's Absolutely. It. If I'm going to talk, I'm putting the ball behind it. That's 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 what you can expect from us. Listen, if you saw it on the social media, you saw what happened, I think that this is going to be a nice uh, a nice little rivalry that proves well, between these two teams. I, I don't think you you're, you're actually telling the whole story in the sense that, you know, these people actually ended up going into... Um, Another rivalry with Area 518. Area 8. Yeah. Like they jumped into that rivalry. So I think yeah. the rivalry is really between dysfunctional bowlers and Area 518. I think it's going to be all three. I think class acts, they're I think more a little menage, on the side. Menage, you know, what they call it. Yes, there we go. That's the uh, one. Menage I, I, I speak English, oh, yeah. not French. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, you had number nine, the Arsenal. They took care of business there. They won. Uh, what did they do? It doesn't matter. Put it that way. That's and, what you do, and number it thirty, right? Latino All Stars. They also took care of business in that. Shout race. out to the fam. Keep on going. I know I'm not with you guys. Also, I, I still root for you. Also, shout out to Dennis Markovich Jr. Bless you. Uh, of Messenger Mafia. Oh, okay. Shot three hundred that day. So congratulations. I don't to know you. what it is with Gordon. Listen, we're going to see somebody got to shoot 300. I went 300 when I was in LA against them. Don't get mad because you're not getting no love right now. This is about, about, about the guys that shoot 300 on tour, okay? You know, he's Look. not really a dark cloud. <laughs> From Majestic, we're going to go to Lodi. Yeah, you're right. Go. You're right. You're right. From Majestic, we're going to go to Lodi. All right? Oh, it's good. The New Jersey Northwest, which is arguably one of the toughest divisions in all of the UBA. Facts. We had a nice one here. We had number 26, the Garden Foundation. Right. They took on Exit Wounds. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, the Garden Foundation has every right. They're probably like, they're actually the foundation. A lot of people, some people left that team from Garden, opened up Exit Wounds. Yeah. And it's like a whole branching system. As my man, yeah. um, my man from Asylum was saying, some of these teams, they birthed. They birthed um, oh, uh, Royalty on the Lanes. Uh, Shaka. Yeah, Shaka. Shaka they birthed Taylor. a lot of these teams. Yep. DGF birthed, uh, birthed a lot of these teams. Exit Wounds, Murder Inc. A lot of people came together just to see what they could do. Well, when it came down to this matchup, Exit Wounds was looking to kick off 2022 on the right foot. Right. You got Chris Aponte, who just won the heavyweight title. Just won the heavyweight title. title. Congratulations. And, you know, they were looking to, to kind of take that momentum and roll with it. Right. Things didn't go as planned. All right. Garden Foundation, you know, Exit Wounds walked into the garden. What was the score? What was the score? <laughs> DGF wins 30 to 10. Okay. That's the way to be the foundation. That's yeah. the way. Yeah. DGF, I still got love for you guys. Even though you try to call ice on me when we were playing you in the playoffs. It doesn't matter because I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> but I still got love for you guys. And that's the way to put it down. Well, let, let, let it, you know, there's a lot of talk going on. There's a lot. The, the Garden Foundation fell off. All this well, and that. Well, DGF, they look like they're maybe coming. They, they, they're coming back. I can only like. hope. That, yeah, I do come back because it'll be nice let's, to bowl against you guys. Yeah. We know that that win's gonna move them up in the UBA rankings, right? We also know that that win is gonna put them in second place in their division, which is a good. How you go from completely off the list to 
Now you're on the list. Listen, to completely off the list right now, that's what Eggs and Wounds is looking at. Oh, no, they they got to make fellow. moves now because nephew. they're running out of season. I got, I got a running. couple of family members there. They're I got my nephew Day Day there. I got yeah. uh, Chris Aponte. Yeah. Guys, you got to get it together. I, you're a caliber <laughs> team. You're a true caliber team. Yeah. You're just not throwing that rock right. Yeah. Get it together, man. You got Drizzy. Cries about everything. Listen, it, it's it, just it, like it, it ain't working. It, it may it may be one of those things where it, it may not be their year. Obviously, the season's not over Every yet. Every year should be that team. You know who that, that lineup is? We, we know they that, got but Burwell. this isn't about prestige. They got, no, they got, got, listen. We understand the brand they got the name. Hitters. They got the they got who they have. They have prestige. Right. They are not showing up. Not right now. This is what have you done for me lately? They're in seventh place and they're gonna fall. I got and it. You lost the GGF. I got it. These kids. I, 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 I'm more, not doubting you, but it may just. It just. They're it's more not worried the about then. action. Listen. Also, they're more worried about action. Get shout yourself out, together. Shout out Andrew Suscriba. Bless you. <laughs> of of Garden Foundation. He also shot 300 that day. Okay, I remember that guy too. Yeah. Also. Well, unfortunately, listen, that was a good one. That's an honor score. Congratulations. Yeah. Number three, Murder Inc. Murder. See these here. Woo-hoo. Too bad you didn't get one. No, wait, wait, wait. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> they took 39. Uh, that's definitely going to be one of those things where they're going to stay high, high up in those UBA rankings as How well. How you get one point in the UBA? I, I don't know. I didn't. I, I don't do the stats. <laughs> so whoever the stat boy is, just let us know how they got one point. We'll figure it out. Gordon, any answer? Any, any, any how answer? How they get one? How they get one point? One point. A tie. A tie. Really? Wow. They locked down. Yeah. Uh, wow. Wow. So a tie in the first game. We were ready to share another 40 piece. Almost. But the tie was like, nah, we got you. Stuck with 39 piece. (laughs) Also, (laughs) number 28, the takeover, they took an L that day. Also, number 24, the Pocket Kings, they took an L that day. That'll shake up the rankings. Well, he could have called Q again? No. Q's with murder. I don't know. My Kalinari can't call Q? Listen, from, from Colorado, we're going to go from Lodi, we're going to go to Pennsylvania. PA, baby. PA North took on PA South in an interconference matchup. I always love the interconference. Uh, the, yep. the interconference. Uh, interconference. 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 Bless you. Thank you. Couldn't get that out. Puerto Rican. I'm sorry, I got an accent. So, <laughs> we had number 18, all in. <laughs> Uh, Dan Mary, how you doing? Yep, they're the first place team there. <laughs> T Rex it. I didn't say that. I did not say that. For the record. I don't know. Chosen they, ones have been actually calling this guy. I never seen Dan Mary run so much. He actually set up on the post. I didn't see the video, but Troy Graf, what's going on? Oh. I mean, come on, bro. They're well, calling you out. Listen, it's when, time to when, step up. When we find them, we'll ask those questions, okay? For a big guy, he can move. That's fine. Listen, <laughs> it's not like he can't get caught. And I can it's not like him. we can't ask him the question. He's a foodie with me. We go to All restaurants right? every now and then when we they see took, each other. They took on the Kingsmen. Yeah. Okay? Let me tell you this one. Kingsmen edged them out. 22 to 18. Gives them, gives All In their first loss on tour this year. All In, what happened, bro? Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you what. Shout out to Brian Strong of All In. He shot 300 that day. And he still wasn't hot enough. Off. <laughs> but it was not enough. And I tell you Where was your teammate, Arlen? Listen, this is this is how it happened. They lost the total wood for the team by twelve pins. Twelve pins cost them ten points and the matchup. That's, that's a, tough. That's a spare and a couple of pins. Yeah. But not for nothing. I was just talking about that in one of our last episodes. Yeah. It's not just one man, you know. No, it's definitely team. Hitman, uh, GOAT, you are carrying off of one person's back. I need to see more. Yeah. I need to see more. Well, we'll get to that. Don't Enough enough. Since we in the DMV, I feel really funny seeing Ray Smart in a freaking outrage jersey. Oh. It just doesn't make sense to me. I grew up with. I see. I came to UBA to see him in DGF. Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. Not to take you off topic. Also, you know that Jonathan Dansbury and Troy Gaskin, they're going to be competing for the tag team belt soon. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're going up against the Reese's. They will be going up against the Reese's. Yes, when? They will. Tomorrow. That will be at the draft. At the draft. At the draft, yeah. Wow. Northeast draft. Wow. So let's see. Also now in the south, we had number 41, Rival Alliance. One of the top teams from PA South. Okay. They took Congratulations. On, I 
Sorry. They took us. <laughs> you got this point right. I gotta know you. I don't know you just yet. Well, I haven't heard your name. That was what I think. They, they took on the Southampton Samurai, and I and I and I put that down. That rival alliance is looking to stay relevant right now in the UBA rankings. Yeah. Definitely. They needed a win here. Southampton is in uh, sixth place. Yeah. And but... Southampton gets the win, 28 to 12. Woo. Okay. So it looks. But how like... did Long Island and, and PA at the same time? Southamptons. No, no, Southampton, Pennsylvania. Man. Oh, okay. Not Southampton. Oh, I'm hey, sorry. Uh, come on. What are you doing? Are you... That's what happens when you take one chicken nugget and we miss out on the 40 piece. His head is clouded. Yeah. All right. I need a break. He's talking trash on, on, on Dansbury. <laughs> on right. Dansbury deserves it. He thinks it. Southampton is in Long Island. All right, let's just get this straight. He may not realize. He, he better than any, me. He didn't have any coffee this morning? No, I have one. I need another. Get this man another coffee. I drive coffee. out here, the DMV is serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's I, serious. I'll tell you this, that's uh, Rival Alliance's second loss in a row also. Ooh. And a shout out to David Shirk of okay. Southampton Samurai. Shooting 300 that day, okay? Nice, nice. Also, a couple of, shout out to Matt Grayowski, if I'm saying that correctly. I'm sorry, if I butchered it, I'm sorry. Matt Grayowski of Team Mass Destruction. He Mass shoots. destruction. Oh, that's what the that's what he a shot cupcake three, shot three hundred. That's what cupcake. Shot but he doesn't shoot the cut three hundred. He lets his team shoot the team. Well, Matt Grayowski shot the three hundred. All right. Also, See, shout we out. out here. We out here, Matt. We out here. The one last shout out to Cole Norris. Of oh, that the kid usual is nice. Suspects. suspects. That kid is nice. Two ninety nine, three hundred, finished off with an eight thirty two. Can we say re-rate? No, you could say it. Uh, re-rate. I'm gonna say re-rate button. Great, I don't care. Great bowling. We, we need Good bowling, of, though. We need one of those buttons. Yeah, we need one of those. We gotta get the. We gotta go. Re to, we gotta go to one of them stores and get the button for that. Watch it. <laughs> Dougie might see you. Maybe. <laughs> Listen, with, with oh, wait, that, wait. the whole team matrix may see you. And now with, with that, that's gonna lead us to the new top 50 list. Woo! That. Do you Sir Gordon Pepper has so graciously provided us. the heat? I can't do a roll without people complaining about the top 50. I don't know if it's getting smoky in here. One, but. we're just giving the news. Don't shoot the messenger. Please don't. And I always say, if you're not on it, shoot the rock Let's better. do this. Listen, give them that disclaimer when we come back.